Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamar Mizels. I'm a Jewish wife and mother living in Israel. And I am super excited because tonight is the first night of Hanukkah, one of my favorite Jewish holidays. And we're going to have um, my in-laws over and my brother-in-law. So I decided to order some pizza and focaccia. Between work and picking up the kids, I prefer to have the food ready at hand and not to make everyone, you know, wait for their pizza or wait for their food. But we're gonna make latkes, and my brother-in-law is bringing really, really special sufganiyot, special donuts for Hanukkah. Some might say it's the best sufganiyot in Israel. It's always listed among the best sufganiyot. It's from the Fika Swedish bakery that we really, really love. So I'm super excited. This year for us in Israel, Hanukkah has a really special significance, lighting light in the midst of darkness, and that's really what we're doing. We ask God to send us a lot of miracles this year to protect our soldiers who are fighting for us and to send back the kidnapped. I don't think there's one person in Israel that will light the candles tonight and not think about the kidnapped people. Hanukkah combines two miracles. We have the miracle of the Maccabites, the Maccabim, who were brave soldiers and fought and they won the war, um, you know, with incredible strategy and incredible bravery. And we also have the second miracle, which is the miracle of the light that lasted for seven days, even though there was only an amount of oil to last for one. We read a few explanations that this was sort of a validation for the first miracle. They decided to fight against this empire and, you know, with incredible strategy and they were able to win. And the second miracle really validated what they were doing and gave them um, sort of a nod that what they were doing and what they set on to do was in fact something that heavens also approved of and wanted. So I really wish that this Hanukkah we combine the miracles of our incredible brave soldiers, the IDF, incredible strategies that we see they have and technology together with heavenly miracles, godly miracles to show that he approves of what we're doing. And I wanted to wish you and your families Chag Chanukah Sameach, Happy Hanukkah. Now we're gonna get started. I have 15 minutes before I'm going to pick up the kids. I'm gonna make the mixture for the latkes, for the levivot, we call it in Israel. And I find that sufganiyot is just the store-bought, the ones that you buy are so delicious, especially when you buy them fresh. So. I don't see any reason to embark on that journey to make it at home, but latkes is something that I really prefer at home. I don't like the ones that are too crispy or the ones that they put too much oil. I like the way we make it, which is very simple, much less oil. Okay, so let's get started. You love it, Ayala? Amen. 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 
Amen. Now the kids are going to go upstairs and do their Hanukkiyot, and then we're going to sing upstairs all the songs. Yeah.